Hello and welcome everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today with our super cute little fall themed painting, our scarecrows. We have our girl scarecrow and we have our boy scarecrow. They're gonna be pretty similar steps as we go along. Let's make sure we have all of our supplies ready. So our little painting package was wrapped in our paper. Let's make sure we put that underneath our canvas as we're painting so we don't get anything else messy. We have our little palette of paints, a little top plate we can use to mix our colors on. And we have these little cups of paints with resellable tops if you need to use them for later. For our colors today, we have white and black. We have a couple yellows. We have orange, kind of a rusty red color, a brown, a green, and a blue. We'll need kind of a larger, maybe a medium, and a smaller brush as we go along. We're going to start with our biggest brush that we have. We'll also need to find a paper towel so that we can dry off our brushes and a little cup of water so that we can wash our brushes. I put my colors on this plate and I'm gonna use this empty plate to mix my colors on. And we're gonna start with our background color. Now I'm going to follow along this example, but as we go, if you want to change any of the colors on this, definitely can. Again, I'm going to start with my biggest brush that I have. We're going to fill in our background. So I'm going to do this light kind of tannish yellow color right here. So on our plate here, I'm going to get a good scoop of white and then a little bit of the darker of those two yellows and I'm gonna mix those together. A little bit of yellow at a time into all that color, into all that white, until you get a color that you like. Yours can be lighter than mine, yours can be darker than mine. Scratch off your brush on the edge, take off a little of that extra paint and we're going to start filling in all of our background. I'm going to take it nice and slow around those edges. You can go a little faster in those bigger spaces. I'm going to fill in all of our background. Nice long brush strokes. Smooth out your paint. That helps it dry a little faster. And to kind of help squeeze in between some of these smaller spaces, if instead of a flat brush, you turn it and use that thin part of your brush, that's gonna help squeeze in between. Get those smaller little spots if you need. Now don't worry too much if you get a little bit on the black line, that's okay, we're gonna fill in everything with colors.
Okay guys, so once you have all of your background filled in, while we have this color on our big brush, we're also going to wrap it around and we're going to paint all of our side edges to match. Then get both sides, we'll get the top and we'll get the bottom edge as well. Okay, so whenever you're ready for it, we're going to wash off our big brush, give it a good scrub at the very bottom of that cup, drag it on the side, take off a little of that extra water, and dry off your brush. We're going to fill in our pumpkin colors next. So I got a good scoop of white. I'm going to put that on a new spot on my mixing plate. I'm going to get a good scoop of orange. So I'm making a little lighter orange. I'm gonna mix it together. I'm gonna add a little bit more orange. Mix it together. Whenever you have a color that you like, scratch off your brush, take off a little of that extra paint. And we're gonna fill in all of the face. So even over the eyes, don't worry, we're gonna put that in with black paint. Just smooth out your paint so you can see those lines underneath. Take it nice and slow around those edges, around the little hair. Oh, I filled in the hair. That's okay. There we are. Now I can see the hair. And then we are going to fill in the bottom pumpkin too. So same color, go over the lines, that's okay. Just gonna block it in. Later on, once this is a little bit more dry, we'll go over these lines with a little darker orange. So we're gonna go right up to the edge there, smooth it out. So I'm gonna wash off my brush from the orange, I'm gonna dry it off, and I'm gonna fill in my blue jean color next. So this is another color mixed with white. I'm gonna mix up a light blue. So that's gonna be a good scoop of white on a new spot, and then a good scoop of the blue. We're gonna mix them together. And again, I'm gonna fill in all this space. You can go over those lines. Just make sure to smooth out your paint so you can see those lines underneath. So you can trace over them later. But if you're nervous about losing a line, you can always paint right up to the line without covering it. Smooth it out, and you'll be able to see it still. If you need a little less paint, you can take a little piece of paper towel, just scrape it a little bit, and that helps 
reveal the little lines underneath just in case you need. And keep filling in all this little space. While I have this color, I'm also gonna put a little bit on the tummy of the bird. If you wanna use a smaller brush for this, go for it. Cause it's kind of a smaller space. So you may need a smaller brush for this part. Now for this next little piece of light blue, I'm for sure going to switch to a smaller brush for my little flower petals there. I'm going to get a tiny bit of paint. If you have a round brush there, kind of twirl it, twirl and drag, and your paint gets you a nice little point on the end of your brush. I'm going to fill in the little petals while I have this color. If you want to do a different color, definitely can. But while I have this light blue, get add all the light blue that I have on my canvas. The boy scarecrow doesn't have a little black, but the girl one does. So for our next little step, let's fill in our shirt color next. I'm gonna find the kind of medium brush, so not your biggest, not your smallest, your medium one. And I'm gonna mix up a light green. So I'm gonna get a good scoop of white, and I'm gonna get a good scoop of green, and I'm gonna mix them together. We so get a nice light green color. Scratch off your brush. Take off that extra paint. And I'm gonna start over here in my little sleeves. I'm gonna add these on the ends of the little sleeves, kind of the frilly parts. I'll do that a little bit darker green. A little green without the white mixed in. Taking it really slow. If you wanna use your smaller brush for this part, definitely can if this one still feels a little big. You can definitely use that small one. I'm gonna fill in this other little sleeve over here. Go right up to the blue. And then last little spot is right here at the top. Take it slow as I get in between those little frillies on the top. a little bit of paint at a time. This is a small space, so you don't need much paint on your brush at all. There we go. I'm gonna wash off my medium brush, dry it off, and then I'm going to mix up a light yellow next for the hair and for my sunflower. So I'm going to get a little scoop of white and on a new spot, I'm going to put some white and that lighter of the two yellows, that lighter of the two yellows, I'm going to mix that one into the white. A little bit more yellow than white. Scratch off your brush. Again, if you want to use your smaller brush, definitely can. And we're gonna fill in our hair. We're gonna put some other colors on this later also. I'm gonna fill in this little 
little bangs at the top. And then I'm also going to fill in all the petals on my sunflower. And I'm just painting right over all those lines. Just smooth it out and you can keep that little outline around your petals. So we're gonna let our yellow dry a little bit. We're gonna go up here to our hat color and we're gonna mix up that one next. So for that, um, I'm gonna keep using my medium brush. I'm gonna get another good little scoop of white on a new spot and I'm gonna get that kind of reddish brownish kind of rusty color and I'm gonna mix that in. Again, if you wanna do a different color for your hat, definitely can. And mix up this kind of nice like clay color. Yours can be lighter, yours can be darker. It's up to you. Scratch off your extra. And we're gonna fill in all of our hat. Okay, so after the hat, I'm going to wash off my brush, dry it off, and I'm going to mix up a light brown for the little stick and the little stem over here on our pumpkin. So, since we're making it a lighter color, once again, we're going to get a little bit of white on a new spot, and we're going to get a good scoop of brown, and then we're going to mix those together. So we get a light brown. Scratch off the extra. And then this is a small space. So I don't need much paint. I'm gonna fill in all of that little stick. And then we're also gonna fill in the stem of our Okay, so I'm going to switch over to my smallest brush that you have and we're going to fill in the center of our sunflower and the, the bottoms of our acorns in the same color. So with my small brush, I'm going to find that reddish brownish color just by itself this time without the white mixed in. And we're going to fill in our sunflower center. Smooth it up. And then I'm going to use that same color for the bottoms of the acorns. Same on both. I'm going to wash off my small brush, draft my small brush, 
And by this point, the um, blue of our little jumper or shorts, jumper, overalls um, is kind of dry. Um, so I'm gonna put on that darker blue next. So with blue just by itself, I'm gonna go around the edges. So I'm gonna kind of trace the Sharpie lines. I'm gonna follow it all around. I'm gonna make it a little thicker at the bottom, like the hem. I'm gonna trace this little pocket in the middle. And that little line underneath it, but I won't fill that one in. I'm gonna go over the top and where the little button is. I'll put the, the button with black paint later, so we'll hold tight on that. But if you filled it in with blue, that's okay. While I have the blue on my brush, the blue just by itself on the small brush, I'm also going to fill in my birdie color, if you're going to make a blue bird. So you can go right over the lines, fill in the little tail, move it out. I went around the eye, but I'm gonna make the eye black later. So if you want to go over it, if it's a little too hard to kind of paint around, you can just go right over it and we can put that back in later. It's a little bit of black paint. So I'm gonna wash off my small brush, dry it off, and I'm going to fill in my leaves next over here. So I'm gonna make a darker green. So that's going to be mostly green, so mostly green, and then I'm going to add a little bit of brown, that kind of true brown, not so much the reddish brown, that brown brown, and I'm going to mix green and brown together. It's going to give me a dark green. A little bit of brown at a time to get a, a green that you like. Yours can be lighter than mine or darker than mine. And then we're gonna fill in our leaves. Again, go right over those lines. As long as you smooth it out, you're gonna be able to see the lines and we're just gonna kinda leave it like that. That's what I did on my example here. But if you wanted to go over them later with a little bit of black, you could that little stem, smooth it out, and you get this guy. I'm gonna wash off my brush and dry off my brush and let's fill in this green next in the outline. So I washed off my brush, dried it off. I'm gonna go into green just by itself and I'm gonna fill in these little frilly bits on the ends of the sleeves. I'm gonna fill that in underneath the little pumpkin face there. And I'm going to trace those little lines 
on the edges. And let that dry a little bit. I'm gonna wash off my brush and go over here to the little band on the hat and that center. I forgot that little center part there. Let's fill in that part. I'm gonna mix my orange and that reddishy, brownishy color. But if you want to do a different color, definitely can. And I'm gonna fill in the little stripey on the hat. And then I'm going to wash off my brush and dry off my brush. And then whichever yellow that you like, I'm going to fill in the little center of my flower, the little yellow. I'm going to just scratch off a little of that yellow. And then I'm going to use that same orangey reddish color. And on my pumpkin face here, and I'm a pumpkin pumpkin. I'm gonna go over those little lines, those kind of little dividing lines. I'm gonna go over those. Just watch out for your green along that chin part. I'm going over these little segments. Kind of divide the pumpkin pieces, right? Here, it's okay if a little gets on the eye or on the eyebrow or the mouth because again we're going to fill that in with black paint later just a little bit then I'm going to do the same thing for this pumpkin I'm going to trace those lines over the sharpie gonna help give it a lot of definition Again, we're gonna wash off our brush, dry off our brush, still using that small one. And we're gonna fill in our little gloves next. So that's gonna be just brown paint, just by itself. I'm gonna fill in both my little gloves. Go over that line, the thumb. Just move it out so you can still see it a little bit. Other side also. And then after you have your little gloves filled in, we're gonna use that same same brush and just a little bit of brown on there. And then I'm gonna go over here to the little stick. I'm gonna trace those lines also. Trace the sharpie line. You can do a few little wiggles to give yourself some kind of like tree barky texture. And do the same thing to the little pumpkin stem. A couple little scratchy wiggles, give it a little texture. While I have that same brown on my brush, I'm gonna also add it down here to the tops of the acorns. Again, just brown by itself, tops of the acorns. And the last little spot that I'm gonna add a little bit of brown just by itself. Not with the brushy part, but I'm gonna turn my brush around and use the end of it, the little end. I'm gonna take a little bit of brown, I'm gonna dip it into the brown paint. And we're gonna do a few little seeds in the center of our sunflower. So I'm gonna use the back handle and I'm gonna dot, 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 get a little bit more. It runs out pretty fast, so keep getting little dips and little dots the center 
of your sunflower. You can do as many as you want. I'm going to put some yellow on this also, but we'll let this dry for a little bit. So I'm going to go back to the brushy part on this brush and let's add a little bit more straw into our hair. This time I'm going to use that darker of the two yellows just by itself. And I'm gonna add some little streaks, some little wisps. I don't wanna cover up all my light yellow. I wanna see all the yellows. So I'm putting little wisps, you can sweep it down a little further than your hair. Kind of wisp it out, wisp it out. So you can go past those sharpie lines. Little flyaways wherever you want them to be. See this little straw hair. Gonna let that dry a little bit. Later on, we're gonna put a little white in there, and that's gonna really make it pop. And then one more time, I'm gonna switch it back to the back handle. Gonna dip, and then I'm gonna add some yellow ones in the center of my sunflower. I'm gonna wash off my small brush, dry it off. And let's go over here to our hat. And I'm gonna put a few little detail -y lines on there too. So I'm gonna go back to my brown just by itself. If you wanna do that um, reddish brownishy color just by itself also, that would definitely work. Whichever you like best. And I'm gonna kinda give it a little accent line it's not so much an outline so it's not right on top of the black sharpie line but it's a little inside it's a little inside kind of following that edge there so not right at the edge but I'll go a little inside and just kind of follow that shape of that it just gives it a little bit more Maybe a 3D look, perhaps. Follow those little slits in the hat. Following the little brim. Go on the side. And if it touches one of the Sharpie lines, that's okay too. Kind of a looser little outline. So after that part, our little birdie needs a nose so let's give it a little nose we're gonna wash off our brush dry our brush we're gonna get a little bit of orange I'm gonna use orange because my background's kind of yellowy that will get it to stand out if you want to do this in black that'll work too and give it a little orange beak it's a quick little step right there so we're getting towards our details here and we still need some eyeballs I'm gonna use my small brush again, and I'm gonna get a little tiny bit of black paint. Just a little bit. Now take it really slow. The black can get very smudgy very quickly. So take it nice and slow. There's no rush. I'm gonna follow my little eyelashes. I'm gonna fill in the little center circles. I'm gonna go over my other eyebrow, my nose. Now we're gonna let this dry for a while until the black isn't shiny anymore before we add on that white dot in the eye. Or else it'll just kind of smush. Going over the little smile. And I'm gonna go over my buttons. If you haven't already filled those in. Or you can go over color if you like the black instead. And our other little eyeball over here for our little birdie friend. So we're gonna give our small brush a really good scrub, maybe a couple scrubs, and dry it off because all of the rest are the little details, little highlights, little sweeps of white paint. We're gonna save the eyeballs for the very, very last little step. We have all these little highlights to add. 
So the, the highlights are the white on top of the black. Let's save those for last. Um, but we're gonna add on all these little guys over here. So I'm gonna use my smallest brush into a little bit of white. And let's go over here to our little flower. We'll add a little sweep or two little sweeps in each little petal. Give it a little sparkle. We're gonna add a little white in the hair, just like we did with the darker yellow. We'll add some extra little hairs. It's gonna make all your yellows really shine and stand out. But I don't wanna cover up all my yellows, I wanna see all the colors. You're gonna add a few little sweeps. Little flyaways in the hair. Let's go over here to our birdie friend. We're still letting that eyeball dry, but we can add a little bit of shine on the wing. So I'm gonna add, I'm gonna kind of follow that little wing shape, a little on top of the head, give a little roundness, a little on the tail. Looks a little more feathery. We're gonna add a little on the gloves. So right inside that Sharpie line, on top of the brown, gonna follow the shape. I'm gonna add a little on the clothes. So in this little space in between these two lines on the top of the pocket, can add a little sweep there. And on these little kind of full wombs, like right above that little hemline, that make that'll make it kind of like look a little flowier, a little bit more like fabric. Gonna keep going. We need a little highlight on our sunflower petals, like we did for this guy up here. So I'm sweep one or two little dashes of lines of the white lines on the bigger of the two petals. If you wanna add a baby one on that little guy peeking out, you can too. A little sunlight shining. And lastly, we're gonna add a little sweep just on one side of the acorn. Swoop and swoop. There we go. So if you need to let those eyeballs dry just a couple more minutes, just let them dry a little bit. Whenever they're not shiny in, anymore, um, they're gonna be good to add those little dots and sweeps too. So same tiny little brush, also into white. On my buttons, I'm gonna do a little C shape. C shape. On the buttons. I'm gonna do that kind of on top of the nose too, a little, little curve, and also on the little bird friend, whoop, I'll put a little curve in the eyeball too. Last, last little step is gonna be a little dot in the eyes. And for my dots, remember our back handle trick. Gonna get a little bit of white, a little bit of white, and we're gonna do one dot, press lift, press lift in each of those eyes. If you have any space, you can also put one in the little birdie eye if you want. So after all those little last little sweeps of white, that completes our beautiful fall painting. We do need our art signature to make it official. Usually right hand bottom corner is the artsy place. You can put your whole name, real small. You can put your initial, I always like to put my initials. You can put a date, put A to R. Oh, your little artist signature in the corner there. Thank you again so much, everyone who is painting with me today. I can't wait for our next one. And happy fall, everyone. Happy Thanksgiving. Enjoy your holiday.